everyone. Welcome to one more episode of Build and Deploy. My name is Mitesh Upale, and I'm the Cloud Architect with Oracle for Startups Global Program. Today, we have our Oracle for Startup customer, Hyrio, and we'll talk about its successful journey to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Mahesh, thank you for being here with me today. Thank you, Mr. Mitesh. Uh, nice to be here. So Mahesh, to get started, can you please brief us a little bit more about Hyrio? Hyrio uh, is an HR platform which is uh, focused into candidate experience. So Hyrio stands for uh, delivering candidate uh, customer-like experience and uh, throughout the uh, recruitment process. Uh, and it is built on the philosophy of uh, uh, making candidate the center of the uh, recruiting universe and uh, turning recruiters into uh, true talent relationship champions. So what workloads you are running on OCI Mahesh? When we plan to migrate our uh, infra, infra to uh, Oracle Cloud, one of the major uh, considerations uh, was to uh, was how to keep the existing architecture with minimal changes, uh, but at the same time, how to leverage the benefits uh, of moving to OCI. And uh, we have decided to move one solution at a time and uh, ensure that uh, it is stabilized in OCI infrastructure. And uh, we are currently having multiple uh, workloads running in OCI, uh, including uh, uh, core systems, conversational AI systems, batches, integrations, etc. And uh, some of these are uh, some of these workloads uh, were migrated, and uh, uh, some of, some we uh, build on top of uh, OCI components. So Mahesh, this is a very good platform to talk about the technical architecture. So as I've said uh, earlier, so we have multiple systems uh, using OCI and uh, we'll be focusing on the uh, external integration uh, layer. So as an HR company, we have to manage integrations to various third-party systems such as enterprise ATS, SCM platforms, etc., which uh, most of our customers are using. We have uh, data that is coming in through API calls, it could be files, it could be emails uh, from uh, different sources. So the data processing layer, which is responsible for sending and receiving the data to the external system, uh, which is running on a uh, VM. The data goes to an intermediate storage system in the form of uh, message queues and object storage, depending on the data that we receive. So the data management layer, which uh, process this data from the intermediate storage using the data models, push the data back to the permanent storage layer. So the permanent storage layer, which uh, stores the data in both uh, structured and unstructured format. So all of this are under a subnet and uh, we have security protocols in place. So I can see you have a database management system also. So could you talk more about database management system, which database you are hosting? So we have uh, MySQL uh, as our primary uh, data, uh, data layer. So my next question is, what drove the decision to migrate the workload to Oracle Cloud? We moved to Oracle Cloud mainly because of uh, two reasons. So one is uh, security. So with all the customers we work uh, with, securing the infrastructure was our top priority. We, we were able to utilize uh, the built-in security layer, which is already there in OCI. And it was easy for us to migrate the existing infrastructure to it. So we were able to work with customer security teams and uh, make the additional security measures that uh, they choose uh, through OCI. So you know, with on-prem uh, solutions, uh, we have to manage multiple uh, support teams and uh, it was a real painful uh, exercise for us. And uh, with an SLA-based uh, support that is there in OCI, we were able to resolve issues uh, much faster and efficient. So what's next for Hyrio to prosper on OCI? So in terms of integration, so what we are planning is we, uh, we have Oracle Integration Cloud, uh, something that we have to, we have planned to use at, as part of the changes in the integration layer. So with the different uh, predefined connectors that is already available, uh, connecting to different SaaS platforms and uh, the MFT solutions that is in the OIC, we believe that it helps us uh, build a better solutions altogether. So brilliant. Thank you, Mahesh, for such good inputs. It's been a pleasure to chat with you today. Thank you everyone for joining. Stay tuned for more customer-related conversation on Build and Deploy video series.